In May 2021, Amazon Prime, together with director Barry Jenkins, created a miniseries based on the literary novel Underground Railroad, written by Colson Whitehead. It tells the story of Cora, who embarks on a dangerous journey to freedom using the routes of the Underground Railroad, and along the way will touch on issues such as racism, the political conflicts of the 19th century, and the abuse and mistreatment that slaves went through. But what was the Underground Railroad really about? Let us tell you the real story behind it. Click to like, share and subscribe to uncover the truths, the triumphs and the tribulations of those who dared to seek freedom. In America's turbulent 19th century, an underground network emerged as a beacon of hope in the fight against slavery. Known as the Underground Railroad, this ingenious and daring system was not a railroad in the traditional sense, nor did it run underground. Rather, it was a secret network of routes and shelters used by African and African-American slaves in their desperate search for freedom in a land that still held chains in its history. To fully understand the scope and significance of the Underground Railroad, it is essential to situate it within the historical event that gave rise to it. When the American colonies won their independence from Great Britain and became the United States in 1776, slavery remained a pervasive reality in the fabric of society. The ideals of freedom and equality proclaimed in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution did not apply to the African slaves who had been brought to North America since the 17th century to work on plantations, in mines and in homes. The Declaration of Independence proclaimed that all men are created equal, but that equality did not extend to slaves. The US Constitution, adopted in 1787, did not directly address the issue of slavery, leading to compromise and tension between the northern and southern states. In an attempt to balance the interests of slave and free states, the Constitution included provisions such as counting slaves as three-fifths of a person for purposes of representation in Congress. Slavery remained a pillar of the American economy and society, creating a deep divide between free and slave states. As the country expanded westward, political conflicts and debates arose over whether new territories would allow or prohibit slavery. This division became an ever-widening chasm. It is good to digress for a moment to provide some context. When we say that slavery persisted as a pillar of the economy, it is because the economy of the southern regions was driven primarily by agricultural production on plantations. Some of the major crops for which slave labor was used included cotton, which was one of the most important crops in the south and required a great deal of manual labor, from planting and tending the crops to picking the cotton from the plants and stripping it for cotton fiber. Tobacco was also grown on many southern plantations, and slaves were involved in all stages of its production, from growing the leaves to harvesting and processing. In some southern regions, such as South Carolina and Georgia, rice was grown intensively, and slaves worked in the rice fields, performing tasks such as draining the fields and harvesting. In areas such as Louisiana, sugarcane was grown, and slaves played a key role in planting and harvesting the cane, as well as in the production of sugar and molasses. These are the most notable, however, because slaves were also involved in the production of a variety of other crops, such as corn, potatoes, and other staples. During this time of growing political tension and regional conflict, the Underground Railroad took shape. Although its name suggests an actual subway system, it was a clever metaphor that obscured its true nature. There were no trains or rails underground, but rather a network of routes and shelters operated by brave people who believed in the cause of freedom. The Underground Railroad became a beacon of hope for runaway slaves yearning to escape slavery. It used secret codes and symbols to communicate in a world where pro-slavery laws made it difficult for slaves to escape. The North Star became a symbol of direction toward freedom, indicating that North was the way to go. The operation of this clandestine network was a testament to human endurance and solidarity in the midst of oppression. Shelters, 
Churches and farms along the route served as safe havens, providing fugitives with food, shelter and guidance on their journey to freedom. Courageous conductors, such as Harriet Tubman, led fugitives along dangerous routes and faced countless risks in their quest for freedom. The Underground Railroad was not just the work of remarkable individuals. It was a collaborative effort in which many people, both black and white, played critical roles. White Quakers and abolitionists defied pro-slavery laws by providing shelter, food, and financial support to fugitives, demonstrating a solidarity that transcended racial barriers. As the 19th century progressed, political and social tensions in the United States came to a head. The Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, which toughened measures against fugitives and those who aided them, increased the need for the Underground Railroad as a safe escape route. Events such as the Kansas-Nebraska Act of 1854 and the increasingly polarized political climate of the 1850s brought the country to the brink of civil war. But as tensions rose, the Underground Railroad continued to operate, leading thousands of escaped slaves to freedom. Despite its physical demise, the legacy of the Underground Railroad endures as a powerful symbol of resistance and solidarity in the fight against slavery. Historic sites, museums, and commemorative events throughout the United States and Canada keep the memory of this underground network alive, reminding future generations of the determination and courage of those who sought freedom in the midst of oppression. The Underground Railroad represents the infinite capacity of the human spirit to endure adversity and yearn for freedom, even when the obstacles seem insurmountable. In a world of division, this underground network serves as an eternal reminder of the universal quest for freedom and equality. The Roots of the Underground Railroad The routes taken were somewhat turbulent because of the need to keep a low profile. What is known of these routes is that they began in the southern slave states of the United States, such as Georgia, Alabama and South Carolina where runaway slaves escaped from plantations. During the journey, runaway slaves would travel north, avoiding patrols of slave traders and bounty hunters. They would stop at safe houses, barns or shelters along their route, which could be in rural areas or small towns. As they moved north, they passed through states like Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana and Illinois. In cities like Cincinnati, Ohio or Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, runaway slaves could find abolitionist communities that offered shelter and support. Many runaway slaves continued their journey to Canada, where they eventually found freedom. In Canada, provinces such as Ontario became the final destinations for those escaping slavery. The last cry for freedom. On January 1, 1863, as the country was engulfed in the devastation of the Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln spoke the words that echoed through time, emancipation and proclamation. On that day, in the midst of bloodshed, Lincoln declared that all slaves in the rebellious states would be considered free. It was an act of political and moral courage, a proclamation that illuminated the dark horizon of slavery with the spark of freedom. However, this act did not immediately free all slaves, as it required the victory of the Union and the defeat of the Confederacy to be effective. The passage of this proclamation was a bold step toward the ultimate abolition of slavery in the United States, a first step in the right direction. It was then, in 1865, that the Civil War finally came to a poignant conclusion. On April 9th of that year, at Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia, Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered to Union General Ulysses S. Grant. Guns fell silent, flags were lowered, and the nation began to heal its deep wounds. The Confederacy collapsed and the Union was restored, but the road to reconstruction and reconciliation was long and difficult. But 1865 was also the year that the promise of freedom became an unshakable reality with the ratification of the 13th Amendment to the US Constitution. Proposed by Congress in January and ratified in December, the amendment categorically abolished slavery throughout the United States. 
Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, it declared, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. With these words, a new course was set for the nation, one that left slavery behind forever. The ratification process for the 13th Amendment was a reminder that the struggle for equality and justice was far from over. The southern states, devastated by war and defeat, had to decide whether to embrace this new vision for the nation or continue to cling to the old ways. One by one, however, the southern states ratified the amendment as part of the requirements for readmission to the Union. Slavery was no longer legal, but the road to equality and justice was just beginning. Heroes and leaders. In this story, while there were villains like the slaveholders, there were also heroes, and it is important to recognize them because they fought for causes other than their own. At the heart of this underground network was Harriet Tubman, a former slave who became the conductor of the Underground Railroad. Her story is an epic of courage and perseverance. After escaping slavery herself, she returned to the South several times to lead countless runaway slaves to freedom in the North and Canada. On each journey, she faced unimaginable dangers and slave hunters, but her determination was unwavering. As Harriet Tubman led daring raids, Frederick Douglass raised his voice in defense of freedom. An eloquent speaker and writer, Douglass became a prominent abolitionist and human rights advocate. His autobiographical narrative, Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American slave, became a powerful testament to the brutality of slavery. Douglass used his gift for the spoken and written word to inspire others to join the fight against slavery. William Still, known as the father of the Underground Railroad, meticulously documented the stories of fugitives and played a crucial role in the operation of the network in Philadelphia. His dedication to the cause was tireless, and his record-keeping helped reunite families separated by slavery. Through her efforts, she preserved a legacy of perseverance and courage. In the heartland of Indiana, Levi Coffin and his wife, Catherine Coffin, became tireless advocates for the abolitionist cause. Their home was a safe haven for runaway slaves on their way north. Throughout their lives, they helped countless people escape slavery and find refuge in their homes. Operating from Delaware, a slave state, Thomas Garrett helped hundreds of runaway slaves to freedom. His home was a crucial stop on the Underground Railroad. Garrett openly defied pro-slavery laws and their penalties, proving that a belief in freedom could overcome any obstacle. Sojourner Truth was also involved in the fight against slavery and the operation of the Underground Railroad. She was recognized for her tireless work for civil rights and women's rights. Her commitment to equality and justice resonated throughout the struggle for freedom. On the other hand, we have Josiah Henson, who inspired the famous novel Uncle Tom's Cabin by Harriet Beecher Stowe. In addition to his work as a leader of the African-American community in Canada, Henson helped other escaped slaves find freedom. Mary Ann Shad Carey was the first African-American female newspaper editor in North America and an active advocate of African-American emigration to Canada as a path to freedom. And of course, Henry Box Brown deserves an honorable mention. He was a runaway slave who became famous for his ingenious plan to ship his own body to freedom in a box. His story epitomizes the creativity and determination of runaway slaves in their quest for freedom. These heroes, among many others, united for a noble cause at a pivotal time in American history. Through their courage and dedication, they contributed to the operation of the Underground Railroad and left an indelible mark on the fight against slavery and the quest for equal rights. Their stories illuminate the path to freedom through the darkness of slavery. Historians. William Still meticulously documented the stories of fugitive slaves who passed through Philadelphia in his book, The Underground Railroad, 1872. In this book, William recounts his experiences and those of other slaves who escaped through the Underground Railroad. This historical book was an essential piece for the study and knowledge of that time. 
Eric Foner is a noted historian and author who has extensively researched the history of slavery and emancipation in the United States. In his book, Gateway to Freedom, The Hidden History of the Underground Railroad, 2015, he sheds new light on New York's role in the Underground Railroad network, highlighting the city's importance as a gateway to freedom. Catherine Clinton's research and books, including Harriet Tubman, The Road to Freedom, 2004, have shed light on the life of Harriet Tubman and her role as a leader of the Underground Railroad. David Blight is a historian known for his work on the history of the Civil War and slavery. His book, Passages to Freedom, The Underground Railroad in History and Memory, 2004, examines how the Underground Railroad has been remembered and commemorated over time, highlighting the importance of historical memory. Fergus Bordewich is an author and historian who has focused on the history of the Underground Railroad. His book, Bound for Canaan, The Underground Railroad and the War for the Soul of America, 2005, provides a comprehensive narrative of the history of the Underground Railroad and its impact on American society. These historians have made significant contributions to our understanding of the history of the Underground Railroad and the struggle against slavery in the United States. Their research and writings have rescued forgotten stories, revealed new perspectives, and enriched our knowledge of this important period in American history. Those who fought for freedom and escaped to achieve it will always be remembered as heroes and heroines. This was the view of Frederick Douglass, who said in one of his most famous speeches, without fighting, there is no progress. We must always fight for our rights and equality. At the end of the day, we are all human beings, human beings who feel, love, cry, need, and live. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment below to more content. See you next time.